Today, we're gonna to be using this expanding foam to go ahead and build off the sides of the rear spoiler of the Cressida, and uh, we're hoping that uh, this is probably the easiest way to go about uh, doing it in that the trying to build something out of metal was probably gonna to be too difficult because of the shape that I want, and so I figured I can go ahead spray this stuff on there, shave it down like I've seen uh, some people do, go on fiberglass over it, and then we can start to build off of there and then bondo it and uh, just use body filler to get it to the exact shape that I want. Um, obviously the rest of the wing isn't exactly perfect. Uh, I have done some work in the past couple of weeks um, in addition to what you guys have seen previously, but today we're gonna be continuing on and building onto the sides. Uh, I already did a little bit on the other side, so we'll go take a look at that now. This stuff is actually, I sprayed this on here maybe about 15 minutes ago. It's already starting to harden a little bit, but it's still probably a little too soft to really get the actual shape. I can probably start cutting a little bit, but for right now, you can see that it kind of flopped off and went under the bumper and stuff. So I'm gonna have to build this up, make sure I can get this out. I want it to go out probably about another two inches or so get that built out and then we can do it on the other side and then we'll probably have to just wait till this stuff is done. Uh, I'll probably get some sanding done meanwhile and then uh, start shaping this to what we want it to look like. This stuff is quite interesting actually. I've never worked with it before, but uh, it's pretty fun. I'm hoping that after I use this scan once before I can use it again, but we'll see. It is a little difficult to get it built up right here. Uh, just because it wants to fall down, so I don't really know. I, I wish I would have built some kind of structure out of metal first uh, and then done this, but uh, I have no doubt that it'll be sturdy enough. Uh, once I put the fiberglass on, it's just hard to kind of get this to stick to where I want and then be able to trim it from there. So after using this can for a second time, it didn't exactly come out how I wanted it to. So we're gonna use this new can, build up this side, and uh, hopefully it doesn't fall down too much. Damn it. Watch, it's gonna fall. No. It's gonna fall. This is kind of what happened on the other side. It like fell off and then it was like stiff enough after that fell that I was able to build up on there. So, Oof. anyways, we're just gonna have to wait for that to fall, I guess. Alrighty, well, we need to let that dry for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something at, I've held off for probably about a week now and I kept forgetting to do it, but I need to change the thermostat out on the blue vet. I think it's it's getting a little hot. Uh, I think it's because of the thermostat. Not 100% sure, but I have a new one right now. So I'm gonna replace that. It's pretty easy. It's about two bolts. You can see this right here. I've had to replace a whole water pump before on the Red Vet. It was actually quite easy. I think it was maybe like six bolts or something like that. But uh, even easier to do this. Obviously, I'm not gonna replace the whole water pump unless it continues to overheat, uh, which in that case, I already have a perfectly good one. But we're just gonna take this off. It's just two bolts and it uh, should be pretty easy. Turns out that uh, this won't work. I got this from O'Reilly's, obviously. Uh, it's not gonna work since uh, this entire thing is the thermostat. It's like built into the housing. So 
Uh, looks like I'm just gonna have to buy one of these and I'll probably buy like a lower degree one too. I think this is, they said this is like 187 or something really weird. I'll probably go ahead and get a 160 off of like Summit or something like that. But that's gonna have to wait for another day. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back in. Uh, possibly fill this uh, reservoir back up just so at least I can drive it for now. Um, even though I guess I'm not even gonna be driving it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna throw this back together and uh, it'll just have to wait for another day, I guess. Well, that was a little bit of a fail, but at least it gave us some time to uh, let the foam dry and we can go ahead and do another layer. Obviously, this side is a little bit further along than the other side, but uh, we'll try and get this done at least within this one and then hopefully at least get a little bit shaved away today and uh, not all too sure how much I'm going to be able to do uh, before this thing completely settles. It might take like a day to dry completely. So I don't think I really explained exactly why I need to use the foam, uh, but just to uh, help you guys understand a little bit further where I'm going with this is uh, basically this, let's just say here is back there. The whole point is that if I were to make this out of metal, this piece here would be really difficult to get it to fit the way I want it to. I want it to slowly go into this curve, so it's gonna have this really kind of awkward angle that would be really hard to kind of predict. As I push the metal up against there, had I made it out of metal originally, um, not only would this piece be hard, but also the side piece, it would just all around, it would be really difficult to make this out of metal. I figured the best thing to do would be make it out of foam, shave it down to the exact shape that I want it to be, and then fiberglass it, that way I can really massage it into the way that I want it to be and uh, that way it'll be perfect when it's done. Uh, this side is almost to the point of where I can start shaving it. Um, obviously it still needs to dry completely. Right here you can see it gets a little thin. I'd like for it to be at least out to there so you can see I probably need about another inch. Um, I, I did this right here you see I'm kind of just building off of itself so right there after that dries a little bit I'll be able to build that up get a little bit more around here and then after this side dries I'll be able to start shaving it now the other side needs more work obviously this kind of fell down but I still need to build this up here um, this is still very wet I just did that so this still needs quite a bit of foam so I just got back from O'Reilly's I uh, went ahead ordered the right part that should be in tomorrow morning uh, you guys probably won't see that but uh, we can go ahead and probably put another layer of foam on this especially this side the other side maybe I don't know if it's dry yet but uh I think, I don't really want to touch it, this stuff is like really sticky and kind of nasty, but I think, yeah, that, this side's definitely good enough to put some more on, uh, that other side should be as well, um, but this stuff is definitely, these tubes are getting a little clogged, um, I don't know, hopefully we don't have to use these too many more times. Definitely coming out a little slower. Alrighty, while that thing is drying, I'm gonna show you guys an idea that I had for the green Miata, which is now the lifted Miata. Um, again, we don't have the wheels and tires that we're getting in. Um, and just so you guys know, we're getting some wide, big offset Sealies um, and then some big mud tires. But I was thinking, I have this massive glass pack from my CRX. Um, 
I think I might try and do some kind of side pipe on the the green Miata. I think it'd be pretty cool and unique. This thing made a Honda sound good, so I'm pretty sure it can make a, a Miata sound good. These things, I figured, I, I put a full exhaust on this thing because I, I thought I was going to have to, you know, get it smogged and everything. And so I'm going to end up taking off the cat, which is a brand new cat. Um, so that was kind of a waste of money. But whatever, we're going to cut all the exhaust off. It's got like some kind of weird aftermarket exhaust. I actually show you guys. It's really weird. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's obviously just welded in. But whatever this is, I think Flowmaster. So it's got a little Flowmaster here. Um, obviously, it was kind of uh, welded in or whatever. Uh, it does sound better than stock, but that doesn't really say too much. But it does sound better than stock. I'm sure it's because of the Flowmaster and then also the intake. Uh, there is a lot of intake noise. So there's probably more intake noise than exhaust, but probably not after this. Um, but you can see this thing is pretty long. I was gonna do this today, but I figured after I get my wheels and tires, I'm gonna have to cut a lot. So I didn't wanna have to, you know, route the exhaust here and then have the tire go further and then have to cut it up again. So we're gonna end up doing a side exhaust at some point. And then we'll probably end up doing some kind of uh, aluminum sheet metal, kind of like a, a heat shield, just like the C3 Corvettes have. I think it'll be pretty cool. And then we'll just have like a little dump. And I think it'll sound pretty good. Shouldn't be too loud, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a 90% chance of me like suffocating because of the exhaust um, especially since I do plan on getting rid of these doors um, I'm not gonna sell them I'm gonna keep them but I want to have the door bars or whatever they are the skeleton doors just like the Jeeps have I think that'll be really awesome you know while I'm lifted and everything and going mud and I think it'd be awesome but anyways that's pretty much all I got. I am going to be taking this rear bumper off as well, eventually building some uh, bash bars and everything. But again, we need to wait till we know how much clearance we have with the wheels and tires that we're getting. This thing looks so damn funky with these wheels. Hopefully, within the next couple of days, we'll get our wheels and tires in, get them all mounted up, start cutting this thing apart. So I probably did uh, about the last step of foaming here. You can see it's built out probably at least about an inch, uh, probably about two inches. And um, I'll be able to build this up a little bit, um, a little bit later probably. But while that's drying, I wanna show you guys one more thing uh, that I forgot to show you guys a while ago. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, someone came up to me at a meet and showed me this product of theirs and uh, I put it on the Camborghini. I figured it was a good fit since uh, my, my license plate, it kind of really stuck out a lot because I don't really, I, after I put the diffuser, I didn't really have a good spot to put it. So it's kind of just sticking out there. But now I found a solution. Um, not exactly legal, but uh, we'll take a look at it. I gotta move a lot of this stuff. Uh, that's the old bumper, that's actually sold. I gotta move these wheels out of the way. But as you can probably see here, this right here. If you guys are interested in these, I'll go ahead and put his information in the description. But it's almost like a license plate cover. It's just like a little, basically like a, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to call it, but it's pretty sick. Uh, I really like it. You can see where it says Tyler Fialco and the YouTube and the Camborghini. It's pretty awesome but definitely gets rid of that eyesore of license plate uh, kind of right in the middle of the car. Obviously, I will probably take that off when I drive it. Whether or not I actually do, who knows? But um, definitely a pretty cool product, and I think it's awesome. But, well, that's it. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait for that stuff to dry before we can start trimming it. The other side might be dry enough to start trimming part of it, but I'm not sure. I don't really want to touch it. This stuff is so damn sticky that I hate like trying it, but I think it's definitely getting there, but I think as soon as I start cutting into it, it's going to be sticky just like this stuff. And it's probably still got a lot of expanding to do just because like there was like barely anything here. This was like from the first time I did it and this kind of just like blew up. So. Hopefully this comes off pretty easily because I don't really want it to stick on the bumper. But good thing it sticks on here because I didn't prep this surface at all. I didn't even wipe it down. We might have to wait till tomorrow to start shaving this. Maybe not. I don't know. I think we'll give it some time and then we'll revisit this. It's starting to rain here uh, pretty heavy so we're going to have to clean up. 
Um, that's going to be it for today. Uh, that's why I haven't gotten anything too uh, big done on the crust the past couple of weeks. It's because it has been raining quite a lot. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.